Hi everybody, I just wanted to give an update on where I'm at and kind of apologize for not putting out any more videos. They will be coming, um, they're kind of in the works, but I've been a bit slow because I've been distracted mainly on Reddit. I'm kind of running this campaign and uh, kind of, to, what I'm thinking is just talk sense into Extinction Rebellion. A uh, complete waste of time, but I got kind of sucked into it. And so, yeah, I'm spending all my time doing that. Um, I would much rather be making videos. I absolutely loathe being on social media and butting heads with all these these people. But um, I feel this is the right time to do it after this uh, really kind of disastrous campaign that they've just had. So, yeah, the Autumn Rebellion, I think, was a fiasco. I'm not even sure if they know that it was a fiasco. They're so clueless. But there is possibility of them doing harm you know, while they're trying to do good. And that harm would be, you know, hysterical um, overreaction that will force the government to do something like uh, some kind of climate action that would be counterproductive for everybody. So I think any little bit that you can try to talk sense into these people and stop them doing something rash would be beneficial. I mean, I, I just think basically we should be stopping the juggernaut, uh, not trying to correct it, none of these greed new deals, geoengineering, all of this stuff would be fatal. And I think if you've watched the videos so far, you'll know exactly where I'm coming from. You know, I have this background in, in uh, complex systems and how to manage them. And the last thing you want to do is to basically keep us belching carbon and trying to, you know, fix the problem while we still... Uh, basically haven't corrected the cause so yeah I mean as doomers most of the viewers on this channel I think are doomers really we all know what's gonna happen we're all gonna hit this wall and we're gonna hit it at 100 miles an hour and we're actually accelerating we're not decelerating um, so you know what's the damn point well I kind of feel like yeah you know I realized that We'd have to hit the wall at about 40 miles an hour to, to have even one survivor on this bus. But I'm thinking, you know, like, even if you can get a few people to try and, you know, monkey wrench the system, just try and step on the brakes of industrialization just a little bit. I mean, you might only get the, get the speed down to like 95 miles an hour and it's still going to be a catastrophic crash. But I just think it may be, you know, there might be some little grain of sand that would maybe build, uh, might get a snowball effect and it might turn into something like people seeing sense and stepping on the brakes hard. Will it get to 45, 40 miles an hour and will anybody survive? There's a faint chance I think that basically like three people at the back of the bus survive. Hopefully one of them is not Donald Trump but anyway I think that it's worth even if you're a doomer but just trying to talk some sense in these people and just stop them trying to build up more speed, more steam uh, to try and beat the wall ahead. Of course, this is not a wall you can punch through. This is not a problem you can fix. And if you know what I've been saying throughout the series, I've been trying to explain to you that an alien cortex is a maladaptation. It's, it's the thing that's making you think of climate change as a fix. The fix is getting rid of industrialization. It's, it's to stop fixing things, in other words. But nobody gets it, of course, and nobody's going to do it. But anyway, here I am doing this little, you know, personal campaign. I got kind of sucked into it in a way on Reddit, so I'm doing, doing riding away and neglecting these videos. And the videos are really what I'd like to be doing. But apart from that, I'm either writing a novel, sailing, enjoying life here in Greece, uh, beautiful hot weather, still swimming here now until late October. Um, and yeah, it's, I know it's, it's completely screwed up weather-wise. We're not supposed to be having this kind of warm weather. It's, you know, it's getting up to 23, sometimes almost 25 degrees. Um, we're not supposed to be having this and I'm not supposed to be enjoying it because it's obviously something's wrong with the weather. But, what do you do? No one's going to stop. Uh, there's nothing you can really do. And so, yeah, I think we're all on the same page. But I would have one little ask before I get back to these uh, Darwin episodes. 
um, is I would like to ask people to just come on Reddit and just help me out because I really am getting uh, brigaded and uh, banned and uh, yeah there's a huge resistance and yeah it's uh, um, it would help I mean I know that the last time I asked for a bit of help or even suggested that doomers you know get off the houses <laughs> and do something about collapse um, I know that that almost collapsed the Doomersphere the last time I asked it. But anyway, it's not a big ask. It's just like, read the stuff. Um, I'm saying, if you agree with it, then maybe, you know, spread the word, evangelize it a little, little bit, um, and just help me out from not being snowed by basically a lot of people that, uh, particularly from XR, that, that really want to shut up dissent. And I don't think that's good for them or anybody else. So, yeah, you don't have to join me in the campaign, but, you know, just just at least say, hey, look at what this guy is saying, If assuming you agree. Um, maybe post some stuff yourself, because as doomers, I think, we're the only realistic ones that really know where this train is headed. And as I've said in previous videos, this could be a lot worse than it is. However bad it gets, it can always get worse. So I think we should, just because we have the insight that this doesn't work out well, uh, to start, you know, basically helping people along that are still in chronic denialism. And I think XR itself is a movement of chronic denialism. Um, and they can do tremendous damage because they, they might uh, force a government um, into really taking extremely rash action at this stage, where the proper reaction is to stop, to stop doing all this crap we're doing. But, you know, it's very tempting to say, you know, the well is poisoned, but there's some way we'll, we'll get, you know, we'll protest, get the government to sort out the problem with the well. And what you really want to do is to either poison the well worse or just block up the well to force people to go to another source. If they carry on drinking poisoned water from this well, uh, basically they're all going to get wiped out. Sure, if you poison the well, then basically no one will have any, anything to drink and a load of people might die of thirst, but at least you'll force people away from fetishizing the well and trying to get this poisoned well that you cannot unpoison to work, if you understand my metaphor. So if you stop the ability to draw water from this poisoned well, you have the chance that some people will find another source of water, but nobody is going to find another source of water while they're fetishizing uh, this well. And of course, it's a met metaphor for civilization. This poisoned well is civilization and the industrial system. So we have to hamstring that industrial system to force people to look for alternatives. Uh, there, there are no alternatives. You can't, you know, wave a wand um, to unpoison the well. But if you carry on demanding from government saying, look, the well is poisoned, uh, you must make the well clean, you must make the water drinkable. Well, it's obvious what's going to happen. The government's just going to do some voodoo, they're going to try and engineer some, some unpoisoned water, they're going to cast spells over it, but it's, it's not going to work, you know it isn't going to work. Um, and so it's better off to basically stop this dysfunctional behavior and then in, in the extension of the metaphor is fill in the well. Uh, it's counterintuitive, but stop people drawing water from the well. Uh, well it's counterintuitive in one way, it's freaking obvious in another. But, okay, the well's poisoned, you're not going to get it unpoisoned. That's the thing that people just cannot grasp. But doomers do grasp that. And so I would ask for, even a, you know, I know that doomers are, you kind of, the reason why you can grasp it is because really, let's be honest, a lot of doomers are depressed. But I would say, no, I'm not trying to help you with your depression. I'm just trying to say, look, you have some kind of obligation because as a depressed person that can see where this is headed, that is valuable for making it just a little bit better, even if we all go in extinct. Uh, it would be, well, to me, it's a very nice thought that at least something survives and it doesn't just turn into a sterile planet, which is a possibility in some of these scenarios. So if we can actually help people get over themselves, and the only people that can do it is the people with clear sight, and doomers have clear sight. So, yeah, I'm just asking, just come and have a look at Reddit, 
um, and just see what I'm doing and uh, join uh, join in and you know kind of argue the points if you don't agree with me but you know let's get a dialogue going in this reddit sub which I started which is XR Med um, and just uh, try and work it through because there's so many issues with XR they're, they're essentially they just really they're really just bourgeois liberals that have eco-anxiety and they want to get rid of their eco-anxiety but they, there's potential for harm in that um, that is probably obvious to a Duma, um, not obvious to them. So yeah, if you could just come and look at XR Med and just support me because they get brigaded and downvoted, I think systematically they try and, you know, they, um, and I've been banned from Extinction Rebellion. Uh, the actual sub uh, for just trying to speak the truth. They, there's a big cult of suppression, suppression of free speech, and yeah, I, I would like uh, people to just come and have a look. And I promise that I'll get back to to these videos, um, especially about Darwin. Of course, the Darwin videos. I mean, it's the whole point of the Darwin videos is to point out to you. That the reason we believe in Darwinism it's, an, it's just basically the alien cortex right so it's really uh, the whole thing about competition and everything is just the alien cortex playing up um, so yeah you have to watch a few of the earlier videos and watch quite a lot of the videos to understand what I'm saying but yeah the alien cortex is playing up big time with uh, Extinction Rebellion and on Reddit and so you kind of have to do a kind of an exorcism of this uh, it helps to do an exorcism of the alien cortex and its death rows. Um, well, I think it does. So yeah, I would like some help on that. And then we'll get back to, to Darwin, which is really what I want to do. But uh, it's just, I, I loathe every minute I spend on social media. Um, but I just feel like I have to. I mean, it's, uh, you know, if you can, can see where, or, you know, if you feel strongly like I do, that you can see where this all ends, ends up. I feel like you have to kind of help people along, and uh, I feel like I'm on a on the Titanic, and it's it's going down, and uh, people are going nuts. And you can make this whole sinking um, just a little bit better uh, just by helping people through their psychological problems. And Really, the whole world is batshit crazy. Absolutely nuts. You just have to go on Reddit to see it. Oh God, it's it's a thing. Anyway, I'll put a link down below to and a, and a link to a couple of things, uh, a couple of posts that I, I put uh, for XR, um, just to kind of challenge their thinking. But they need to to move along and get off this uh, greed new deal. I think is is uh, it could be really really bad if if we all go down that path. But anyway. Okay, so I, that's it, and um, I will try and get back to Darwin as soon as I can stop, you know, shit posting. Bye.